Local families getting some basic necessities. It's so they can focus on their seriously ill children in the hospital. Rhonda Moore is live in Beaver Creek today to show the helping hand they get. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning. Yeah, we are putting together care kits, and this is for families who have kids who are in the hospital, who are in serious condition, critical care in the hospital, who really don't have time to worry about having such basic necessities. So we got a little assembly line going here with some kids, and this is a part of Helping Hands. They put on this fundraiser, and joining me now is Leslie K. I. All right, so you guys have been doing this for a number of years, correct? Mm -hmm. Since 2008, yes. And how many uh, care kits are you guys trying to put together? About 1,400 per, twice a year, so about 2,800 care kits um, we try to assemble. And tell me why you do this. It's because my youngest son, Nathan, um, contracted RSV at 30 days, and we were in that situation where we were at the hospital with nothing but a diaper bag and a wallet. So these are intended to help families in that situation um, have just the basic necessities that they need for the first 12 hours of an overnight hospital stay. Right. And we have some other kids here who also were in the same situation where they were in critical care and today are doing quite well. Very good, yes. All right, so your fundraiser tonight, you're asking people to bring these travel-sized uh, necessities here, yes. like the toothpaste, the toothbrush, that kind of thing, right? Deodorant, yep, pens, papers, um, tissues, any of those travel size items, we go in, go in our kits to help these families. All right, and then what happens tonight? Um, tonight, uh, we will be auctioning off a number of items, um, and there'll also be a number of vendors here where you can purchase things from them as well. We also have a couple of raffles, some big ticket items, so we hope everyone comes out and uh, supports Helping Hands. All right, it's going to be a very worthy cause. So if you would like to come to the Helping Hands of Dayton Charity Auction, it is this evening at the Vineyard Church, 4051 Indian Ripple Road in Beaver Creek. And the doors open at 6 p.m. and the auction starts at 645. And we'll be back at 805. We're going to show you some of the gift baskets that will be raffled off. Back to you guys. Yeah, that's a great charity. Um, hats off to the woman that started it and all those little kids helping too. That looks good. No doubt about that. All right, well, local charity is helping out some local families who have sick children. Yeah, you can help out as well. And Rhonda Moore is live in Beaver Creek this morning where a fundraiser takes place tonight. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning. Yeah, about 2,800 of these care kits are needed, and they include all kinds of toiletries that the families will need. And we have some kids here this morning who are helping to put those care kits together. They've been doing this all morning. And we also have a charity auction that will be going on here as well. And joining me now is Colette. Colette. Horseman. Horseman. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. You got your last name right. there. All right. So talk to me a little bit about the different items that you guys have here in these baskets. Okay. Well, um, the charity has brought a lot of community donated items. Um, they have some um, from the Dayton Dragons, from Wright State Raiders, uh, even the Cleveland Cavaliers, Square One Day Spa. They have some wine baskets that have some gift uh, cards in them. Uh, we also have some, uh, a Christmas tree that has got um, over 120 $25 of gift cards um, that's going to be raffled off. And then we have our really big ticket item that's going to be raffled off, which is a 50 inch um, big screen TV. All right, everybody's going to want that. Yes, they are, uh, just in time for the holidays. Okay, so if people bring the toiletries. Okay, yes, they can bring donated items of the um, individual. Um, Toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, I think it's um, individual um, deodorant, deodorant, travel size deodorant. So basically, all your travel sized items that go into the care kits, they will get raffle tickets um, for all of these items. They can purchase more raffle tickets, but they can they will receive free raffle tickets for anything that they bring for the donated for the donations. All right, that mm -hmm. sounds good, and a lot of good uh, items here in these baskets. Now, if you would like to come to the Helping Hands of Dayton Charity Auction, it is this evening at the Vineyard 4051 Indian. In Ripple Road in Beaver Creek. The doors open at 6 p.m. and the auction starts at 6.45 and we'll be back at 8.50. We're going to show you the auction items and also the vendor items that are up for sale. Back to you guys. All right. I love all those little kids getting involved and helping out too. Yeah, good job for the holiday season especially. Lots of gift baskets up for auction. They're to help raise money for families with sick kids in the hospital. And Rhonda Moore is live in Beaver Creek this morning where the event is tonight. Hey Rhonda. 
Good morning. Yeah, the purpose of this fundraiser is to be able to get these care kits for families who have kids who are sick in the hospital, and there's all kind of toiletries in here for the families. And joining me now is Leslie Kayot. Okay, so these kids in the hospital are really sick, right? Yes, they're either neonatal intensive care unit children or pediatric intensive care unit at our three hospitals, Dayton Children's, Miami Valley Hospital, and Kettering Medical Center. All right, and so this care kit is really something that the families can use. Yes, to help them stay at the hospital instead of having to go home and get those items the care kits allow them to stay with their child where they're needed the most. All right, so this fundraiser tonight, you guys are going to have raffle items and also auction items. What are some of the things that we have here? We have a number of items donated by our vendors. There's 18 vendors that are going to be here tonight. I hope everyone comes out and, and is really lucky and takes on one of these great events. Okay, so these items here will be the ones that are auctioned off, right? Yes. All right, and then some of the items down here are for the vendors that will be selling items, right? Absolutely. There's a, a number of vendors that are coming from jewelry to um, products to food. Um, a number of items that will allow them to, to find something great to bring home for a holiday gift or to treat themselves. All right, and so as you were saying, the people must be 18 years old in order to come to this, right? Yes. All right, and so talk about some of the items that were going to be actually raffled off that we showed earlier. Um, if you're a sports fan, tonight's a great time to come out. We have tickets for Wright State basketball, um, UD basketball. We also have um, a gift package from the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Dayton Dragons. There's a number of salons that have donated services to us. Um, a make big 50-inch TV. And a huge 50-inch TV, yes. All right, so a lot of items to be auctioned off, to be raffled off, and then also items that you can come and buy yourself. Now, you're also asked to bring some of the toiletries as well. And if you would like to come to the Helping Hands of Dayton Charity Auction, it is this evening at the Vineyard, 4051 Indian Ripple Road in Beaver Creek. Doors open at 6 p.m., and the auction starts at 645. And, of course, it's for a really great cause. Back to you guys. All right, Rhonda, thank you.